so our first one is Sonny's birthday prize. Um, some people are celebrating their birthdays while we're um, not at school. So I wanted to read this one just in case you are inside on your birthday. Oh, we did have a little visitor who wanted to join in on the stories, but now she's decided something is more exciting downstairs. So um, I'm going to have to stop this two seconds while I let her out. There you go, that's her out of the room. No doubt she'll be back any second. So on with the show. She'll be back any second. She's a monkey. Here we go. Can you see the picture? When Sonny was leaving playgroup, his friend Katie gave him an invitation to her birthday party on Saturday. Thank you, said Sonny. Yep, she's back at the door. As soon as he got home, Sonny made Katie a card. Gran had already knitted a scarf, which she wrapped up for Katie's present. When Saturday came, Sonny was very excited. He eagerly washed his face and brushed his beak ready for Katie's party. How do you guys get ready for parties? At the party, Sonny gave Katie her card and present. They're brilliant, said Katie. Sonny saw all her wonderful presents and wished that just one was for him. Oh, have you ever gone to a party and thought, oh, I really like that present? Look, there's some rollers. Oh, can you see? I can't see in the picture. There's some roller skates here in the picture. I love roller skates. What's your favourite present that you've ever had at a party? Look at this teddy bear. I can't see this teddy bear. Teddy bear in the box. A ball on the floor. You see these balloons? One, two, three party balloons. They all sat down to a birthday tea. They ate banana sandwiches, jelly, oh I love jelly, and ice cream. When Katie blew out the candles on the birthday cake, everyone sang happy birthday. Now I wonder if we could work out how old Katie is. Let's count the candles on her cake. One, two, three, four. There are four candles on her cake. That must mean that Katie is four today on her birthday. After tea, Katie's dad organised the party games. They played musical statues. Do you know how to play musical statues? Look, all standing still when the music stops. Pin the tail on the donkey. Look, it must be this person's turn, this duck's turn. And pass the parcel. Sonny was sad when he didn't win any of the games. Then they played hide and seek. Katie started counting. One, two, three. Coming, ready or not. Can you see any of the ducks hiding? I can see one under the chair. I can think there's one here. Look, as there's a foot. And the top of a party hat. I can see one hiding their eyes there. I could see one under the table here. See any more? Can you find some on this page? Look. I can see one behind the curtains. Found you. I see one here under the grey coat. Oh, can you see their feet sticking out? What about on this page? Where are they on this page? I can see you. Look, hiding in the present box. And then this one hiding in the wardrobe. That's a clever hiding place. It was soon time for the children to go home. Katie had found all of them. Except Sonny. Where is Sonny? asked Grandma. Oh no, where's he? Do you think he's still hiding? 
Is that him in the handbag, do you think? Is that just a toy? He's here! You see him? Shouted Katie's dad, pointing at the wash basket. Well, that's a good place to hide. Sonny won first prize for finding the best hiding place ever. Look, so he went home with a birthday prize after all. And that was what the story was about at the front look, it said. Sonny's birthday prize. So that's your story for today. You hope you enjoyed it and you can go out now in the sunshine. It's lovely and sunny out there. Although I've been out with the dogs in the garden and it's very cold. So wrap up warm out there. I will see you all later. Bye bye.